Hello and welcome back to the Reapers, another small educational video for today, uh, F15C again. Um, I'm getting loads of requests for these videos coming in, like tens or maybe even a hundred now, so I'm going to I'm working through them as quickly as I possibly can. This is the F15C uh, Combat Climb, it's something that I use, so what is it? It's, uh, it's a way of getting up to altitude optimally, not in terms of uh, gas mileage, uh, not in terms even really of time. To climb um, but it is the optimal in terms of combat which means that we climb as fast as we can as efficiently as we can while maintaining maximum speed kinetic energy so once we've reached our altitude we're going to have the maximum speed and um, and that's uh, so that's how we're going to climb uh, so we're assuming we're down relatively low maybe we've just taken off maybe we're loitering low whatever reason uh, we're fully loaded two bags full uh, full armament so it's realistic uh, so let's uh, go and get it done. Let me set on pause. Okay, so we're going to fly straight and level. Ideally, we'd fly slightly down, but we're too low to do that. So we're going to fly straight and level. Uh, we look at our HUD. That number there, hang on. That number there is our Mach number. And we want to get to the magic number of 0.96. And it has to be that number. That's the number that I believe was calculated for the real F-15C by McDonnell Douglas. So it works on our Sim 2. So be patient and wait. It seems counterintuitive waiting this long, but got to get that number to maintain maximum efficiency. Ready? And climb. Not, don't pull too hard. We don't want to put any alpha on the jet and scrub speed off. And we want to get to around 45 degrees to kind of uh, 55 degrees, anywhere in that bracket seems to work fine. So there we're about 45 to 50 and we're going to climb now until Angel's 20 or just slightly below. I usually uh, bottom out at about Mach 0 0.8 so you see Mach 0 0.8 reach there so that means we want to start unloading the jet because we're running up momentum at this point just above uh, Angel's 22 and now we're going to go down to my negative five degrees uh, for the second part of the climb so there we are negative five degrees this allows us to put momentum back in the jet exactly the same back up to 0 0.96 mac for the second leg of the climb standby that is 0 0.96 mac and we're up again again we don't want to pull too hard don't want to put any alpha on the jet Back up 45, 50 degrees. And we're getting to 0 0.8 Mach again. Because we're going to start to level out again. Went a little bit too high there. The max uh, combat ceiling for this jet is 37,000. So a bit out of practice. And we got a little bit too slow there. But that is essentially it. Uh, if you're in the F-15, you only ever want to climb to two altitudes. That's Angels 20, which is for direct into combat, or Angels 37, which is for transit into combat. Angels 37 is the optimum uh, traveling uh, fast cruise speed for the F-15 in terms of its aerodynamics and engine design. It's where you can get your maximum speed with or without payload. So, um, and as we've said in uh, previous educational videos in our educational section, you want to actually fight at Angels 20 if you have the choice. So you're only ever going to climb to Angels 20 or Angels 37. Uh, I went a bit high here and I got a bit too slow, but that is basically how you do the combat climb. So if you go to Angels 20, you just do it in the one step. If you want uh, Angels 37 fast cruise, then you'll do it in the two steps like that. Just stick to the max 0.96, the negative 5 degrees and the plus 45 to 55 degrees. Uh, simple as that. Really easy. Just remember to do it and you will beat your opponent. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.